Sabi natin, Jesus is full. Punong-puno. Alright? Nag-uumapaw. Punong-puno po ng biyaya ng Diyos. So every movement, every word that proceeded from Him, it was all of grace. Laging biyaya ng Diyos ang lumalabas sa Kanya. Kaya po yung mga tao, gulat na gulat sa Kanya kasi parang sinasabi nila, what is this? This is out of this world. This is unknown of. Ngayon ko lang nakita yan. Alright? And as a Jew, ang dami pong, uh, kumbaga, binasag at binagsak na mga walls ni Jesus. Something that they have never seen done in their lives. Alright? Alam niyo po si Jesus, as a Jew, do you know that as a Jew, you're not supposed to talk to a Gentile? You're not supposed to talk to those of different beliefs. Okay? Ang dami po niyang sinira si Jesus. Ang dami pong walls na binaba, binagsak. He was not even supposed to talk to any unclean person. Ano po yung unclean person? Sa kanila, ang unclean person, you're not supposed to touch them or be touched by them. Any rashes. Kunwari may rashes ka ngayon, unclean ka na. You're not supposed to be touched or be or you, you're not supposed to touch anyone. If you're blind, you are unclean. If you have your period, you are unclean, okay? You're not supposed to be mingling around with other people. So ang dami pong pinagbawal and lalo na pag meron pong may may sakit. Ayun. Uh, may sakit katulad po nung uh, leprous. Ayun, meron po mga uniforme 'yan. And pagkabulag, meron ding uniforme yan. Iba-iba po ang color coding nila. Hindi po ngayon lang color coding. Nung panahon nila Jesus, may color coding na po. Brown if you're blind. Red if something like that. Red if you're leprous. Alright? Meron silang sinusuot na parang kapote or uh, coat. Alright? And this is to tell people, you stay away from me because I am unclean. Alright? But Jesus broke all these walls. And every time He touched this leprous person or this sick person, nababaligtad po. When grace touches you, it changes your life. Grace changes everything. Amen? So nakita po natin sa buhay na Jesus that He shocked people. Alright? And Jesus actually even touched the dead. Bawal na bawal po hawakan ang patay. Ayan. You will be unclean for a long time pag humawak ka ng patay. Alright? So, Jesus even touched the dead and the dead came to life. Alright? So, every time Jesus would move, lahat po ng mga tao laglag pa nga. You understand what I mean? Laglag pa nga sila. Why? They were shocked. This is amazing. They were stup- uh, kumbaga, they were flabbergasted. They were astounded in every movement that Jesus did. All right? Pero alam niyo po ba, that is grace in motion. Jesus was grace in motion. All right? And actually Jesus is showing us the way that we shouldn't put walls, all right? Pag kami sinner, you know? Pag may sinner, alam niyo kung saan nandoon si Jesus kasama ng mga sinner. Kasama niya mga prostitute, kasama niya mga tax collectors. Ito yung mga taong iniiwasan ng tao during his time. Now, let me tell you, it's not so far from what Christians are doing. You know, some Christians, they want to gather with other Christians, but they don't want to have anything to do with those who are different. Okay, for example, si Jesus, he talked to the Samaritan. Alam niyo po ba ang Samaritan, hilaw na hudyo. May mixture. Siguro, hindi na ako magbabanggit ng mga uh, other faiths, pero may mga alam kayong faith na similar to us, pero hindi eksaktong katulad sa atin. And some Christians, you know, they would rather gather with those who are just like them, pero ayoko yan, mga ano yan eh, mga Baptist yan. Di ba? May mga ganon. O kaya, mga Catholic yan. You know, we put names and we stay away from them and we don't treat them the, the same way we would treat other Christians of the same faith. Alright? Which Jesus clearly showed that should not be the way. Alright? He talked to Samaritans. And Samaritans are those hated people because they're a mixture. May halong Jew na may halong ibang paniniwala. But Jesus talked to them. In fact, let me tell you, hindi lang niya basta uh, kinakausap pa mga Samaritan. You know the story about the Samaritan woman, all right? Not, not only did he break a lot of walls here, babae na, Samaritan pa, tapos adulterous pa. Amen. And some people, some Christians would be would stay away from these kinds of people. 
They would stay away from sinners. Okay? Ay, ayoko niyan. Mababa ang lipad niyang babae niyan. Di ba? May mga ganyan tayo. Ayoko yan. Mga nagsisigarilyo yan. You know, in fact, just recently, I was talking, was, was, I was in a group, and uh, there's this pastor who was talking to a teenager. Okay? Now, this will, this will, Kumbaga parang medyo ma-amaze tayo dito, magugulat tayo, no? But this is how it is. This is a pastor talking to a teenager. At ang sabi ng pastor ay ganito, yung mga kaibigan mo na nagsisigarilyo, iwasan mo yan. Stay away from them. And I was listening to the conversation, okay? Stay away from them, alright? Now, this this teenager said, eh, paano ko pa sila masisharean? Teenager pa nagsabi, paano ko sila masisharean kung I stay away from them? You know, I put my peace of mind inside, nakipag-usap din po ako, at ang sabi ko, you know, for me, ang sinasabi ko sa mga teenagers ko is, you know what? I can never stop you from smoking. I mean, I'm not with you 24 hours a day. Tama po ba yun, mga magulang? Lagi nyo bang kasama ang mga anak nyo? Hindi. And they would always try something. But this is what I tell my teenagers. Alam nyo, anak, ang sasabihin ko lang sa inyo ay ganito. Be wise. Be wise. Because you know what smoking does to you. Alright? Marami nga na nagsusmoke ngayon, gustong gusto na nilang matanggal sa smoking. And yet, they cannot anymore because there is such a thing as nicotine addiction. Gustong gusto nila, and I have some close friends, Christian friends, all right, who really wants to get out of it. And I have all my heart for them. I pray for them. You know what? They really, really, and sincerely want to get out of the addiction, but they cannot anymore. So I'm telling the youths, you know, once you get in there, you think it's fun, maporma, social, de mabahu yan, okay? You know, totoo. Social tingnan, or it's a group thing. You know what? Sa umpisa lang yan, but later on, the effect would be you'll be addicted to that and then you want to stop it because it's affecting your health ubo ka na ng ubo hindi mo pa rin mapigil alright that's the bad part about it we don't want you to go there so I would tell my children about that alright so but I don't tell them stay away from these people stay away from them when they're smoking ah syempre ayaw mo nung second hand smoke and when they're drinking you know what you can say no it's so easy to say no dahil hindi mo masarap yung alak na yan alright it's so easy sabi ko sa mga anak ko be wise Okay, they might be trying it out, but I'm telling them, be wise. Be wise enough to stop and to realize na masama yan sa katawan mo. But I don't tell them, you know, don't go with these people. Okay, because you can be that person to show the grace of God to them. Amen? Jesus did not stay away from the prostitute. Jesus did not become a prostitute by staying with a prostitute. Amen? Jesus did not become a thief when he stayed with the, with the tax collectors. Amen? Alright? So, ang sinasabi ko lang po sa inyo, maging wise tayo. Lalo na po sa mga kabataan. The, the kids, you need, you, you need guidance. And this is what we're telling you. Smoking is really bad for you. Ha? Alam, dami na po may alam niya. Kaya lang, the temptation is there, the barkada is there. And you might try it, okay? But I tell you, be wise. Be wise to say, no, this is not for me. Hindi ko yung gagawin. Alright? So, that's what I'm trying to say. So, to this day, there will be some teachings that would say, you stay away from the sinners. But that is not the way of grace. The way of grace is, God so loved the world. It did not say, God so loved those who did not smoke. God so loved those who parade every day. Okay? God so loved the world, the murderers, the addicts. Okay? Those who are into drugs. Those who did not love Him. Those who hated Him. Those who did not pray. Even in one month, walang prayer. God loves the world. That is grace. Bakit, pastora, undeservingly, and yet that is exactly what grace is. Are you getting it? So what I'm trying to tell you is, do not stay away from the sinners. Do not do what they're doing. But don't stay away from them na hindi na po tayo makapag-share ng word or ng love ng Panginoon sa kanila. Amen? Amen po ba? Do not stay away from people who are not like us. Eh, hindi mang Christian yan eh. Okay? Huwag tayo pumunta doon sa binyaga na yun eh. Mga ano lang naman yun. Okay? 
How will they be able to hear and to feel the love of God if you're always away and staying away? Amen. Amen. Okay, pwede pumuntang piesta. Pwede pumuntang binyagan. Pwede magninang sa kasal. Amen. Amen. Mas kaya no religion yan pwede yan. No problem. Alright? Because that is your opportunity to be a light in that place. Amen? To be a salt in that place. Amen po ba? You know, we have some friends, <clears throat> and they were smokers, heavy smokers. And um, these are good friends of ours, and we shared the word of God to them. They got born again, and they're still smoking. So what I'm trying to tell you is that, hindi komo na to smoke, you stay away from them. Okay, you stay away from them when they're smoking because you don't want to get the secondhand smoke. All right? But itong mga friends namin, they really got born again. You would see them in their, in, in their lives, the way they speak. All right? Talagang na-born again sila. Question, pastora tumigil ba? Hindi pa rin. But, and yet, we did not separate ourselves from them. In fact, they would want to fellowship with us on a monthly basis or sometimes every other week but just to hear the word of God. Okay? But they're smokers. Okay? Again, it doesn't lead you to hell. It leads you to an early grave. So that's it. So maging wise lang po tayo. Mga kabataan, naririn niyo po ba ako? Uh, puro yung mga nanay ang sumagot. Okay? <laughs> mga kabataan, naririn niyo po ba ako? Amen. Be wise. So yung sa katabi mo, be wise. Ayan. Maging wise lang po tayo. No? We can reign in life when we're wise, you know, just receiving the, the grace of God. Okay? So, we are not to stay away from the sinners, right? We're to be there to be the light, right? And we see here, number one, that grace breaks down walls. Mga division, right? Yung mga division sa ibang relihiyon, right? Hindi naman tayo relihiyon, pero division sa ibang paniniwala, division sa mga ibang ginagawa, hindi ako ganyan eh. Alright? Kaya hihiwalay ko sila. Alright? So, be there. You have to be there. And Jesus was always there. Alright? Jesus loved sinners. Amen? He loved the sinner. He hated the sin, but He loved the sinner. Ang mga Kristiyano ngayon, they're known as those who stay away from sinners. We're not to stay away from sinners. Amen? Right? We have to be there so that we can give them the grace of God that changes everything. Again, in John 3.16, we all know this verse. Sabay-sabay po, basahin natin. The world. Amen. Alright? Sabi, whoever believes in Him. Hindi sinabing whoever does not smoke. Whoever stops drinking, if they want to continue drinking, that's their life. It's just that they won't enjoy, you know, the fullness of life. Uh, they medyo grogi sila in life. But if they believe in Jesus, guess what? Whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I tell you, there is hope for them. They can stop drinking because of the grace of God that is in their lives. Amen po ba? Alright? Another verse that I would like to show you that shows us that the wall is broken. Sabi po ni Paul, and this is Paul speaking, he said, There is neither Jew nor Greek. Wala na pong division ngayon dapat. Right? There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Grace breaks down all walls. Amen? Grace breaks down all walls. So we should not put up walls, right? Rather, we should bring down walls. How many wall ba do sa mga kapitbahay mo na hindi kayo same faith? Alright? You know why? Go there. Go to the neighborhood. Ba, sabi mo, mga palaro lang naman yan do sa, sa simbahan, sa kapilya namin eh. Kaya ayaw, ayoko sumali. Hindi, sumali ka. Amen? Sumali ka. May papiesta yung pari namin doon. Sumama ka. Amen? Amen po ba? Alright? So, sumali po tayo. No problem. And be a light into that place. Alright? Jesus loved sinners. We saw that in the life of uh, Zacchaeus. Alam po natin si Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus, the small man who climbed up the, the tree, the sycamore tree, para makita si Jesus. And look what Jesus did. Alright? He did not condemn Zacchaeus. He did not shame Zacchaeus to change. Alam niyo po ginawa niya? He loved Zacchaeus. And the change came. 
Pag may bago po kayong kilala, hindi po natin kaparehas ng pananampalataya. Huwag niyo umpisahan ng mga words of God na galing sa Bible. Nakalalalim tayo lang nakakaintindi. Amen. You know what you should do? Just do what Jesus did. Sabi niya, alika, kain tayo. Amen. Punta tayo sa bahay niyo. Kain tayo. Just love Him. That's the grace of God. Just love Him. Does He deserve it? Ang sama na ugali ni, ni Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was notorious. Ano po ang, tra- ang trabaho ni Zacchaeus? He was a tax collector. At hindi lang tax collector, he was a thief. Ninanakawan niya ang tao. And he was known for that. That's why nobody wanted to be with Zacchaeus. Meron ba kayong kilala sa inyong barangay na ganon? Alright? You know what? You can love Him to change. Alright? Don't give Him not heavy words from the Bible or sasabihin sa kanya, magbago ka na. Alam ba, masama yung ginagawa mo? Alright? Hindi ka nakakausapin yan. Kung yun ang sasabihin mo sa kanya, masama yung ginagawa mo, magbago ka na. Alright? Kakalimutan ka niyan. Ang gawin mo, mahalin mo lang siya. Alika, libre kita. Alika, kain tayo. Alright? And you know what? All of a sudden, because Jesus loved Zacchaeus without any sermon, Alright, sabi ni Zacchaeus, ko ano man na ninakaw ko, ibabalik ko lahat, dadagdagan ko pa. Amen? I tell you, salvation has come into that house. Come on, give Him the glory. Just love Him. Love Him to change. Amen? Meron ba kayong asawa, anak, na parang ayaw magbago? Dahil sa haba ng sermon nyo, tigil-tigilan nyo na ang pagsesermon, mahalin nyo ng mahalin, magbabago yan. We have been so used to doing it our way not looking at the ways of Jesus Christ. Alright? Meron bang ayaw magbago? Inis na inis ka na, ayaw magbago, taon-taon na lang, ganun pa rin siya? Ayan. Huwag kayong magtapikan. <laughs> okay. Meron ba kayong kilalang ganun? Well, we've tried it our way for so long, hindi natin pinansin, tiniis natin, alright? Hindi natin binigay ang dapat sa kanya. In fact, what we do is we give them what they deserve. Ganyang ka, ganto rin ako. Okay? We've been doing that for such a long time. It's about time we do it Jesus' way. The grace way. Give Him what He doesn't deserve. Give Him more love, more grace, more peace, more love. Amen? And that life will change because grace changes everything. Come on, bless the Lord. Amen? So grace breaks down all walls. Start breaking down all those walls. Right? Different religion, different na ways. Ah, hindi ko ginagawa yan. Hindi ako nagsisigarilyo. Hindi ako makipagsama dyan sa mga sigarilyo na yan. Alright? Hindi ako umiinom. Hindi ko sinasabing uminom kayo. Ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, you can be there and share the word of God to them. Amen? Alright? Be there. Drink wine. I'm talking about wine, not hard. Ano ba yung mga label-label na yan? Alright? Not hard drink kasi tutong ba kayo dyan? And you know, be there and just love them. Just love them, alright? And they would say, oh, hindi naman pala corny tong tao na to. Hindi naman pala puro, puro kalangitan ang pinag-uusapan. Normal naman pala, alright? And be able to minister to them, alright? So, love them. Alam niyo po ang ayaw ni Jesus? The only, the only people that Jesus showed anger to are the Pharisees. Alam niyo, si, ano niyo mga Pharisees? Sila yung mga holier than thou. Huwag kang lalapit sa mga mga sinners na yan. Maghugas kayo ng kamay. They have all these rules. They were the ones building up all the walls. Dito, nagagalit si Jesus doon sa mga nagtataas ng walls. Ay, iba yan. Mga ano yan, Baptist yan. Mga ganto yan. Mga, you know, they are the hypocrites that keep on building this wall, all right? Love people. That's grace, amen? Bring down those walls, amen? And that's grace. Jesus is showing us the way, amen? Number two, grace, the grace that we have received is for all. Again, for God so loved the world. Walang pinili doon. Hindi lang doon sa para mababait, para doon sa mga, para doon sa mga man, mahilig manalangin, mahilig magbigay, sa inyo lang ang biyaya. Hindi po, para sa lahat. Sabihin natin lahat, para sa lahat. Okay? And it is for free. Look at Romans 3.20. Romans 3.20 tells us, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight. Alright? Sa paggawa ng, ng eksaktong tama, alright? Hindi ka mala-justify. Paano ba ma- hindi ka hindi masasabing wala kang sala sa paggawa ng tama. Hindi ko sinasabing 
Huwag na tayong gumawa ng tama, pero hindi yan ang justification mo. For by the law is the knowledge of sin, but now the righteousness of God, ito po ang paraan para magkaroon tayo ng righteousness ng Panginoon, katuwiran ng Panginoon, apart from the law is revealed. Nire-reveal ngayon sa inyo. Ano po yun? Being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God. How? How? Through faith in Jesus Christ. Alright? Ang paraan po para maging righteous tayo is through faith in Jesus Christ. Para patawan tayo ng katuwiran ng Diyos, if that person believes in Jesus Christ, may katuwiran na siya ng Diyos. Ganun lang, pastora, ganun lang. Grace is really unfair in our eyes. But for God, who, who knows all things, that is the best thing to do. Why? Because all have sinned. Let's continue. Sabi dito, to all and on all who believe. Alright? If you believe, then you have the righteousness of God. For there is no difference. Tingnan nyo, wala nang difference eh. Bakit? Tingnan nyo, for all have sinned. Meron ba dito hindi nagkasala? O hindi na magkakasala? Walang makakapagtaas ng kamay. Okay, maski ako, ibababa ko kamay ko. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Maski sabihin mo, hindi, maliit lang ako magkasalanan, pastora. Maliit lang. Hindi ako katulad ng mga murderers. But it's all the same. It's all sin. So the Lord has made a way so that all, alright, who believe in Jesus can have the righteousness of God. Alright? Maniwala ka kay Kristo, pasok ka na. Alright? Paano po ba tayo nakakapasok sa isang concert arena? Pag may concert, Alright, sabi mo ba, ako si Mean, papasukin mo ako, ganun ba yon? Hindi pwede. Uh, ako si Jason, ako yung nagsisilbi sa church namin, papasukin mo ako. It's not of anything. Alright, it's the ticket. Okay, pag may ticket ka, no questions asked, kaya naglaba ka, kaya naghugas ka ng pinggan, kaya nagbigay ka ng charity, sa charity, walang kinalaman nyo, may ticket ka ba? Okay, I tell you, our ticket is none other than Jesus Christ. Kung may ticket ka, no questions asked, pumasok ka na. Pasok ka na. Amen? And how simple is that? Alright? How simple? Everyone can do that. Anyone can share that. Believe in Jesus Christ. Alright? And you will receive the righteousness of God. Amen? That is, it sounds unfair. Grabe, pastor, ang bait-bait kong tao. Tapos ito, sama-sama, naniwala lang kay Kristo. Ganun lang ba yun? Ganun lang. It seems unfair. Pero kung ikaw kaya yung taong salbahe, you will say, amazing. You are amazing, God. Truly I praise you. Amen? Come on, bless Him. It really is amazing. Alright? So, grace is for all. So, wag po tayo maging choosy. Sa so, imi mo, wag kang maging choosy. Wag mo pinipili kung kanina mo ibibigay ang biyaya ng Diyos. Alright? Be gracious to all. Love all. Give them what they don't deserve. Ay, hindi ito, pastora. Salbahe kasi ito eh. Kaya ganyan lang ibibigay ko sa pero ito isa, mabait to, kaya mabait din ako sa kanya. That is what they deserve. That is not grace. Every time you give somebody something they deserve, that is not grace. You give people what they do not deserve. Amen. And it will stop the cycle. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's go to number three. Okay. Grace justifies us freely. Sabi nga sa Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Verse 24 says, Being justified freely. Sabi natin lahat, freely. Ha? Freely. Alam niyo po, ang pagkakagamit pala ni Paul dito sa word na freely, I heard this from Joel Austin, yung word na freely dito is promiscuously. Sabi niyo nga yan, promiscuously. Ayan. Ano yung sabi ng promiscuously? Di ba ginagamit yan doon sa mga loose women? Alam niyo yung loose women? Yung mga minsan, maski sino na lang. Ayan. Pwedeng sino na lang. Kay, kay mayor, kay, you know, nag-janitor, kay, you know, maski sino. Pwede. Are you getting what I mean? They have, when you say promiscuously, it has something to do with sex, having sexual relation with anyone. Pastora, parang hindi naman yata lapat dito sa pinag-uusapan natin. But look at this. We have been given grace freely or promiscuously. Ibig sabihin, maski sino! 
Pwede tumanggap nito from pinakamataas hanggang pinakamababang tao. Give the grace of God. We were given promiscuously His grace. Are you getting it? Loosely it was given to us. Freely it was given us. Alright? Now let me tell you. Freely you have gi- been given. Freely you have received. You also freely give. Ha, hindi mo naman pwede sabihin, nararapat lang na bigyan ako ng biyaya ng Diyos dahil mabait ako. Pag ginangyari yun, reward na yun. Hindi na yung grace. Because grace is something undeservedly you received. Alright? So, we receive freely. Now, give freely. So, yung saktabi mo, don't be choosy. Sa lahat, ibibigay natin ang biyaya niya. Amen? As we have received in that way, we also dispense in that way. And the good thing about, um, about grace is, even the, the, is that nature even testifies of grace of God. Okay? Nature testifies of the grace of God. Sino po nakakaintindi ng sowing and reaping? Taas ang kamay. Alright, sowing and reaping works all the time. You see that in nature, Amen. Okay? Pero alam niyo po ba, ang sowing and reaping, it testifies of the grace of God. Paano yun? Okay. Nung nagtanim ka ba ng isang buto ng mangga, nung tumubo ang puno, ilang, ilang mangga na kuha mo, isang piraso rin ba? Isang buto lang naman tinanim mo, di ba? So dapat isa rin buto ang matatanggap mo na may flesh or may laman, may fruit. Okay? That is as you deserve. Amen? But grace is being testified by nature. Isang buto lang ang tinanim mo, pero ilang, but, ilang mangga, buto ng mangga, at fruit ng mangga ang natanggap mo. Hundreds, even thousands of fruit. Let me tell you, did not deserve that. Isa lang naman buto tinanim mo eh. But even nature testifies of the grace of God. Amen? Hindi lang buto ang natanggap mo, hundreds of buto, hundreds of flesh ng fruit ang natanggap mo. Bukod pa doon, meron ka pang shade ng puno, may maganda kang halaman sa labas, napakadami pong benepisyo ang natatanggap natin sa isang buto na tinanggap mo. Amen? That is being testified by grace, okay? By, by, the, by nature. Let me tell you something. Sowing and reaping in the natural speaks of the spiritual sowing and reaping. Alam po natin, Jesus is the only begotten of the Father. Amen po ba? Jesus was sowed. He's the only son that was sowed. And look now, look now at the harvest of God. Year after year, generation after generation. Isa lang, isang son ang sino ng Panginoon. Pero look at you. You and me are the harvest of our Father God. Sowing and reaping works all the time. Amen? And nature testifies of that. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 9.8. Look at this. And God is able to make what? All grace. When you sow, when you give cheerfully, guess what? And God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Now let's go to this next verse in 2 Corinthians 9.9. And I want to um, emphasize something here. Okay? Sabi dito, as it is written, he has dispersed abroad. Ibig sabihin, ibinuhos niya. Marami siya binuhos. Alright? He has dispersed abroad. Look at this. He has given to the poor. Sabi natin lahat, he has given to the poor. Okay. So if today you're saying here today, I cannot give anything because I am poor, nagkakamali po kayo. Ang sabi po dito, may binigay siya sa inyo. Amen. I'm not forcing you to, this is not in any way a message of forcing you to give. It's just wanting you to realize, gusto kong ma-realize nyo that even the poor has something to give. Alright? Kaya lang, ito na nga ang susi, eh, tandaan nyo ha, ang sowing and reaping is the key to get out of debt. Bakit ka mo? Kasi sa isang tanim mo, hundreds, thousands will come out from it. Kung sa trabaho mo lang kukunin yan, support, ano lang yan, sapat lang yan sa pang-araw-araw mo. Pero kung gusto mong maka, 
maka-advance, alright? Maka-advance payment, magtanim ka ngayon, alright? You will receive hundreds and thousands from that one seed you sow. Amen? This is the way out of debt. And I tell you, this is the grace of God. More than, you, more than that we deserve. Alright? Sabi dito, He has given to the poor. Kaya lang sometimes, yung poor, hindi, mahirap lang ako, ito lang ang pera ko, kaya ayaw nila iso. Let me tell you, and I'm not forcing you, I'm telling you, have the revelation coming from God that that seed that you have in your hand today is your way out of debt today. Alright? So that seed, I'm not forcing you, do this by a revelation of God, but that is your way out of debt. That is how Pastor Mike and I got out of debt. Alright? We were swimming in debt. Kaya lang, eh, sabi salita ng Diyos, sige lang, bigay ng bigay. Misan, 20 pesos na lang. Okay? Sige na lang, ibigay. Alright? Bakit? Kasi alam namin sa bawat butong tinatanim mo, aani ka ng libo-libo. Alright? You know what? Let me tell you, Today, to this day, we are still reaping a great harvest from the seeds that we have sown years ago. Let me tell you, when you sow seeds today, wag ka maghahanap bukas. Wala namang halamang ganon, di ba? Tinuturuan tayo ng nature, you have to wait. But what you have to do is to keep on sowing so that every day of your life in the years to come, you will keep on harvesting. It's your way out and that is the grace of God for you. Amen. Come on. Let me tell you, if you see yourself poor today, there's a way out. There is a way out. And this is the grace of God revealed to us today. He has given to the poor, look at this, His righteousness endures forever. Tinataya niya yung righteousness niya dito. I tell you, the Lord is righteous. He will not lie. He has given something to you. So that seed, so that you sow your way out. Amen? Way out of debt. Alright? Alright. So let's continue. Grace, as we said, just justifies us freely. And as we have freely been given, also freely give. Alright? Look at 2 Corinthians 9.10. 2 Corinthians 9.10 And let me show you why sowing is uh, receiving or will result to receiving more than what we deserve. Tingnan nyo ito ah. Now, may He, that's God, who supplies, that's number one, seed to the sower. So, dapat sower ka. Alright? And bread. So, ito yung seed. May seed ka na. May bread ka pa. Ito yung pinakalaman ng fruit. Okay, ito yung kinakain mo for food. Supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase increase the fruits of your righteousness. Sa isang sowing mo, apat na balik. Sabi mo sa katayin mo, apat ang balik. Okay, tingnan nyo to. Ha? Supply the seeds to the sower. Bread for food, supply, pinagsama ko na nga lang to, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruit of your righteousness. Apat na balik, isang sowing lang. Amen? And this is the grace of God being revealed to us. The grace of God is revealed in seed time and sowing. Alright? You give once, it returns to you fourfold. In many ways, in four forms. Alright? So spiritually, and even in the natural, this is the truth, all right? Again, the grace of God is demonstrated in sowing and reaping, okay? So, marami po tayo nakikita na grace. Uh, one thing lang na hindi natin dapat, pag, uh, kumbaga, let's not mix up yung pong sowing and reaping with karma. Sabi no iba, ay nakakarma yan. Parang sa atin, di ba, sabi natin, sowing and reaping lang yan, karma lang yan. Hindi po totoo yun. Ang karma at ang sowing and reaping are poles apart. Okay? Ang karma, you get what you deserve. Diba sabi mo, na karma yan. Eh kasi ginawa niya sa akin, oh ngayon ang nangyayari sa kanya. Yan ang karma. Karma is so different from sowing and reaping. Sowing, you sow one, the return is much more. You do not deserve that, but much more is given to you. Ang karma, kung anong tinanim mo, yun ang aanihin mo to that, to that level, to that thing that you deserve. Alright? So, yung iba po kasi, pinag, pinaghahalo po nila yan. But it is so different. In fact, if you understand what karma is, uh, ina-apply po yan ng mga Hindus. Right? And alam niyo po, mga Hindus, they have this mathematical computation 
uh, of karma, okay? that you get what you deserve. For them, if you have to know, it takes 6,800,000 incarnation. 6,800,000 incarnation. Ano incarnation? Mag, magkakatawang laman ka. Kaya ko sinasabi, magkakatawang laman at hindi magkakatawang tao kasi pwedeng daga ka muna. Okay? Are you familiar with that? Reincarnation? Okay? So sa kanila po, it takes 6,800,000 incarnation o magkakatawang laman ka so that you balance off what you did in the past. So if you did something wrong in the past, okay, sobrang sama ng ginawa mo, sa next life mo, namatay ka ngayon, sa next life mo, ano ka muna? Daga ka muna. Okay? Tapos kung as a daga, you do good, hindi mo kinain lahat ng keso at hindi ka nanira ng bahay, okay? Ang mangyayari sa'yo, next life mo, baka maging baboy ka naman. Ayan. Kaya alam nyo, hindi nila kinakain ng daga, ang baboy, ang baka. Bakit? Eh kasi baka lolo ko to. Ah, nag, 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 nag reincarnate siya. Hindi nila kinakain ng baka. Sinasamba nila ang baka kasi higher form of being na yan. Biro mo, dating daga, ngayon baka na. O, diba? Baka, ano ko to, great grand lolo ko to. Kaya hindi po nila uh, pinapatay ang baka, pati ang daga nagkalat sa, sa India or wherever, what country is that. Alright? So that's how they see it. You reincarnate, you get born and born and born again and again and again. Uh, magiging tao ka lang kung as a baka, Ha, ay nag, napakinabangan ka ng husto. Can you imagine that? Ha? Iisipin mo na dati kang baka, ngayon ikaw ay tao na. <laughs> okay? So that's how they see it. And it takes 6,800,000 incarnation for you to balance out. So what do you call that? You get what you deserve. That's not grace. There's no grace at all. Okay? Sa atin po as believers, we get born again one time. You get born in the physical and again in the spiritual. And look at this. Wala kang dadaan ng proseso. Dati kang, <laughs> dati kang hindi man ng palataya, ngayon anak ka na ng Diyos Ama. Amen? That is getting what you do not deserve. Dati kang hater, enemy of God, all of a sudden you got born again. Now you are the child of the Almighty God. That is what you call grace. Amen. You do not get what you deserve. Imagine, ima enemy ka dati, ngayon, anak ka na ng Diyos. Undeserved. That is what you call grace. Amen. Palakpakan na natin, Panginoon. <laughs> Praise God. That is how He works. So, you know, it is so different from other, other beliefs, right? I'm not saying we look down on them. I'm just saying, you know, don't ever confuse karma with sowing and reaping. Okay? Grace of God is so different from other beliefs. Sa iba pong belief, you know, you have to pay for your sins. In Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ paid for all our sins. Amen? In other, in other beliefs, you know what? You are condemned. You are to be blamed for your sin. In Christ Jesus, He took all the blame. And that's why today, we are all blameless before Him. Amen? Ganun po. Number five. Let's go to number five. Grace looks for you. Alam bang hinahanap ka ng grace? Alright? And it settles all questions without blaming anyone. Grace allows a relationship to start over. So kung meron kayo mga broken relationship ngayon, guess what? Apply the grace that you have received. Freely you have received, freely give. Pag sinabing grace, hindi mo nahanapin sino ba ang may pagkakamali dito. You know, in, in human relationship, Sa atin, parang, sino ba nagkamali? Ako eh, ako eh. Pag inamin na, tsaka pala mag-uumpisa ang your relationship ulit. The, the relationship starts again. But in grace, okay, you don't have to look for the person to blame. Hindi bali na, maski sino may kasalanan, okay na yan. Let's pass over that sin. Let's just take it out of the way. Bati na tayo. Hindi na importante kung sino ang may sala. Kasi pag pinoint out niyo kung sino may, kas may kasalanan, alright, binabaw niyo na isang tao. And that is what he deserves. Listen to me, grace is giving what they do not deserve. Amen. Eh, pastor, baka naman hindi matuto pag hindi ko dinutdut sa kanya yung kanyang kasalanan. Alright? Grace has a way of doing things. 
We have to trust the grace of God more than our ways. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so grace allows a relationship to start over based on love, not on settling who caused the problem. Hindi mo na kailang sinong hanapin pa ang nagkamali. Okay, never mind who made the mistake. What is important is the sinner or the one who offended you is back in the relationship. Just like we back in the father's arm, right? Ready to be comforted, ready to be restored, and healing can start again. Okay? Remember po the parable of the lost sheep. Alam po natin parable of the lost sheep. Ha? May isang nawawala. Yung 99 iniwan ng, iniwan ng uh, shepherd. Okay? Alam niyo, pwede magreklamo yung mga shepherd. Ay, sorry, mga sheep. Sabi nila, 99 kami, iiwanan mo kami para sa isang nawawala. But you know, the point of the story is for you to understand that you are that lost sheep that God went out to look for. He even left all those, you know, all those sheep together para hanapin ka lang. Ang gusto niyo makita mo, makita mo dito is how valuable you are to Him. Na kung ikaw ay mawawala, Sakaling mawala ka, huwag kang mag-aalala, hahanapin ka niya at ibabalik ka niya to the fold. Amen? That's the point of the story. Okay? Now, some, some um, messages I've read is that nagko-complain daw yung 99 sheep. Okay? but kami iniwan? Okay? But the point here is that your value is that He will look for you. Right? When you're lost. Kala no iba, eh, pastora, yan yung bago ako maborn again. Hinanap niya ako. Pero ngayon, born again na ako, baka hindi niya na ako hanapin. Mas lalo ka niyang hahanapin ngayon na anak ka niya. Amen? Meron ba dito magulang, apat ang anak niyo, na wala isa, sabi mo, yaa mo na, may tatlo pa naman tayo. Meron bang ganon? Di ba hindi? Pag anak mo, hahanapin mo, maski sampu pa yan. Amen? Maski labing dalawa yan, maski singkwenta pa yan, basta may nawawalang isang anak, hahanapin mo. Hanggang hindi mo nahanap, hindi ka titigil. Amen? Alright? You know, another parable that came after this was the parable of the lost coin. The woman had ten silver coins and one was lost. Ano yung ginawa niya? Binuksan niya ang ilaw. Nilinis niya ang buong bahay at ang pinaka-emphasis doon is that she did not stop until it was found. Sa isip-isip mo, ano ba naman? Isang coin lang? Hiyaan mo na. You know, all of us reading it, parang ano ba naman yan? Isang coin lang. Okay? But the thing is, that is your worth. That is your worth to God. Alright? Na maski nag-iisa ka, maybe some people think that you are worthless. Wala kang halaga. Alright? But God finds you valuable and He will not stop until you are found. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord. And let me tell you, that is true before we got born again and even today as you get born again. Now that you are born again. Bakit ko po binibigyan ng emphasis to? Kasi po, meron pong mga ilang, pa, may mga mananampalataya, this is common, na nagkakasala. Akala ng iba, Pag nagkasala ako, hindi na ako mahal ng Diyos. Born again na kasi ako, dapat alam ko na yun eh. Alright? Dapat alam ko na yun, ba't pa ako nagkamali? If you think that way, that God doesn't love you when you do wrong, okay, you'll always feel down. Okay? God sees you valuable, alright? Whether you sin or not sin. Your sin has already been dealt with by the cross. Tapos na yan. Mahal ka ng Panginoon, ano man na nagagawa mo. Your sin will not make him love you less. He loves you more and more all the time. Amen. Come on, bless him. Praise God. All right. So God will seek for you. Don't ever think, ako pumalpak ako ang tindi ng kasalanan ko. Hindi na niya guru niya ako patatawarin. Hindi. Tapos na. Sabi ng Jesus, it is. Finish. I know what is was he talking about? He's finished with the sin issue. It's no longer an issue. Mahal kita. Ano man ang nagawa mo, ano man ang magagawa mo, mahal kita. It does not change anymore. It is finished. Amen. Come on, bless him once again. <laughs> Praise God. Number six. Grace is all God's doing. We all know it comes from above. It is of God, all right? And every time we allow ourselves to, to 
dispense grace. This is God living in our lives, Jesus living in our lives, and we just allow Him to do this. This is of God. Kaya nga po maganda po, pag nagdi-dispense tayo ng grace, alam niyo po ba, you are fellowshipping with Christ. You are having the same experience as Jesus Christ. Amen? You're just allowing your body to be used by God. Alright? So it's all God's doing. You know, some people would say, Pastora, hanggang kailan ba namin patatawarin tong tao na to? Taon-taon na lang. Grabe yung kasalanan sa amin, sa pamilya namin. Grabe. Hanggang kailan? I'm sure, Pastora, may hangganan yan. Si Lord, may hangganan yan. Okay. Tanong, naniniwala ba siya kay Kristo? Okay? Ang sagot, Oh, dati. Kaya lang, sa ginagawa niya ngayon, parang tinakwil niya na si Jesus eh. Alright? So, you know, you as a person can never tell that. You can never really say, kinalimutan niya na si Jesus. What if, and I'm just hypothetically saying, what if every time he does the sin, but you don't know, he calls out to Jesus, Lord, bakit ko ba ito nagagawa? Okay? Now, we can never be the judge of that person. Stop judging the person that is not our role amen okay now i know some of you have this problem with some people na paulit ulit ulit na lang hanggang kailan ba patatawarin tong tao na to okay uh, as we have learned last week as you have been forgiven by god in christ jesus and that is forever of all sins you do the same Forgive as Christ has forgiven you. Kung kayo po'y binigyan ng limitasyon na hanggang 50 lang, hanggang 50 lang kayo magpatawad. Kaya lang dahil sa lahat ng kasalanan natin and forever we have been forgiven, that is how much we will forgive as well. Amen? And I tell you, receive that first. Know that all your sins, even the sins you haven't done, has been forgiven by Jesus Christ. And that's the time you can forgive others. Hanggang hindi natin naiintindihan yun, lagi nyo i-measure up. Hindi, kasi matindi ang kasalanan niya sa akin. Grabe ang ginawa niya sa pamilya namin. You will always measure it that way. Let me tell you, kung ikaw, that's the way we see it. But kung ikaw yung tao na nagkakasala ngayon, sabi mo, ah, hindi, hindi ako ganyan. How would you know? Okay? How would you know? Kung ikaw naman yung tao na nagkakasala, tapos hihingi ulit ng tawag kay Lord, tapos nagkakasala ulit, hihingi naman tawag, let me tell you, he's in such in a bad position. The sorrow of sinning is punishment in itself. Pag Kristiyano ka. Who understands that? Pag nagkakasala ka, the sorrow of sinning is punishment in itself. Okay, there's a scripture of Paul that said that. Okay, na wag niyo na masyadong i, i, kumbaga, i palayuin itong tao na to kasi the sin itself is sorrowful as a Christian. Okay? So, he's already in a bad spot. Alright? So, our part is just to give him what he does not deserve. Continue to lang. Pastora, taon-taon na lang, binibigay ko yung pag-unawa, pag-intindi, kaya lang ganun pa rin, ituloy mo lang. Ha? Hindi ko mong masama ang ginagawa sa'yo, masama ka na rin. Pag mabuti siya, tsaka ka lang mabuti. Alright. Mabuti ka maski masama na ang ginagawa sa'yo. That's a true believer. Amen? Alright? So it doesn't change you when the person changes before you. Amen? Alright, again, receive the grace of God. That's the only way we can give out this same grace. Amen? Hindi ka nagbabago dahil sa'yo salbahi sa'yo. Mabuti ka pa rin maski salbahi siya sa'yo. Amen? Kasi yun ang tunay na ikaw. Amen? Praise God. Alright, so let's continue. So grace is all God's doing. And it's not... Para sa mga nagtatanong, paano yun? Gawa pa rin siya ng gawa ng masama. It's not... It has nothing to do with what you do. I know it's so, pastora, unfair yun eh. Biro mo ako, laging straight ako, praise God straight, and you live that God life. Yun yung, yun yung pinaka-purbecho mo, yun yung pinaka-benefit mo. You're living the God kind of life. And it's a good way to life, amen? Magandang buhay po yun. Kesa yung na lagi nagkakasala. Malungkot po ang lagi nagkakasala. If you've been there, you know how sad it is. You don't like it. Okay? So, pastora, unfair naman yun. Ito ako, straight na straight, tapos ito walang ginagawa. Biglang parehas kami magkikita sa langit. O, ba't nandito ka? Eh, ba't nandito ka rin? Oh, diba? It's all because of Jesus. Diba? So, you know what? 
There's this uh, man who was crucified with Jesus. Remember the story? Pareha sila, tatlo sila on the cross. Alright? And Jesus, you know, was there for sin that he never committed. But these two, they did the sins. They, and for you to be crucified, this is the most shameful kind of uh, penalty na ibibigay. Kung baga, bakit ka nasa cross? Kasi grabe ang inyong uh, kasalanan. Okay? So let me give you that account. And let me show you that it's not any of our good doing or bad doing that affects your entry into heaven or to get salvation. Look at this. In Luke 23 verse 39, then one of the criminals, talagang criminal to, ha? Huh? Let's talk about crimes. Crimes eh. Okay, hindi yung iniwan ka lang ng asawa mo. Crime. Criminal. Okay? Then one of the criminals who were hanged blast, blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. Ligtas mo ka tayo. But the other answering, ito po yung isa, rebuked him, saying, Do, not e do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, tayo, talaga namang justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. Magnanakaw tayo, mamamatay tao tayo, kaya tayo nandito sa cross. So, naiintindihan ng isa. But this man, referring to Jesus, has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. So, tinawag niya siyang Lord. Mean to say, I believe in this man. I believe in Jesus. Okay? And look at what Jesus said. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen? Question! Meron pa ba siyang pwedeng gawin? Pwede ba niyang tanggalin ang pagkakapako niya sa krus? Sandali lang, gagawa muna ako ng mabuti para naman ako'y karapat dapat doon sa mga tao nasa loob ng paradise ngayon. Wala na siyang pag-asa. Finish na siya. He was finished on the cross, this man. Alright? Wala na po siyang magagawang kabutihan. Maybe all his life, he only did crimes, only bad things. But look what was his entry into paradise. It was just by believing in Jesus alone. Amen? Our ticket to salvation is none other but Jesus Christ. Amen? Come on, bless Him. So, the next question would be, Ed Pastora, you mean to say, let's all do bad, and then at the end of our lives, okay, let's just believe in Jesus. Yun po ba ang punto? Hindi po yun ang punto. You know why? Because we have been given a choice to live a life full of grace, a life of victory. Why would you want a life of defeat? This person on the cross, naniwala nga siya kay Jesus, but all his life, he was a crime, he was a criminal. Ha, napakahirap na buhay. Lagi ka nagtatago. Lagi kang, you know, you're always in fear. You want to live that kind of life? It's your choice. Okay? But the thing is, we've been given a choice to, give, to live the God kind of life. To live a life that is reigning in life through the one Jesus Christ. Why would you choose to live a sinner's life even though you have been redeemed from sin? Amen. You can live a victorious life. Amen. So, it's a choice that we have been given. Alright? But the point here is, it's believing in Jesus Christ that saves all. Unfair? It may be unfair, but it is truly amazing. Amen. Come on, bless the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Are we learning? Amen. So this man received favor and grace from Jesus. Undeserving. Grabe, all his life, criminal siya. But now, he's now with Jesus today in paradise. Sabi nga ganon. Alright? So it has nothing to do with the good works of man. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. In fact, good works is good. And mas maganda po, mabuhay tayo dito sa mundo doing good works all our lives. Alright? Because we know we are already saved. Amen? It's not earning our way there, but we know we are already saved. That's why this is the life that I want to live. Life full of good works, life full of love, and dispensing the grace of God. Yung po ang dapat natin gawin. Okay? Now, number seven, and I think this is the last one. Number seven, grace settles all issues. Alright? It, uh, it gives us peace. It settles hate. Alright? It also settled sin. 
God believes in grace that Jesus was sent here full of the grace of God. Ito po ang antidote sa kasalanan, ang biyaya ng Diyos. Alright? Meron bang nagkakasala sa inyo? Ang antidote dyan, biyaya ng Diyos. Alright? Biyaya ng Diyos. You know, I read of a story of a father who was a drunkard Sobrang laseng. Pagdating sa bahay, sinisipa ang mga anak, pati asawa, binubugbog. And finally, it came to the point, pinalayas niya yung kanyang asawa. Wala nang, mga na, wala nang nana yung kanyang mga anak. Alright? Marami siyang anak. One at a time, yung mga anak nagsilayasan because the father was a drunkard. Alright? And only one was left to take care of the father. And in time, nawala po yung tatay. I read this from a, a book. Nawala po yung tatay. And to their surprise, when he came back, he was a changed man. Naborn again. Okay? So, he apologized to all the children. Lahat po, uh, pinatawad yung tatay, except for that one child who took care of this father. Okay? Hindi niya pinatawad. You know what happened? Yung pong galit niya sa tatay niya, because she did not dispense grace. Yung galit niya, pinasa niya sa anak niya. Mga lahat ng anak niya galit sa tatay pero pati yung mga anak niya galit din sa kanya kasi she would not let go of that uh, anger that she had all her life nakita niya kung paano siya uh, uh, kumbaga nasaktan dahil sa kanyang tatay she did not let go she did not forgive okay and what what happened pati po yung pamilya niya nasira dahil po hindi siya nagpatawad yung mga ibang kapatid niya nagpatawad sa tatay all right alin yung nangyari naging maayos ang pamilya ito lang isang pamilya na to na hindi nagpatawad let me tell you when there is an issue in your family let grace settle it let go of the sin. Forgive. All right? Forgive as Christ has forgiven us. When you forgive, okay, we realize that the person that we set free is ourselves. Kala natin, we are putting walls and, you know, imprisoning the other person. Hindi po. Pag nagpatawad kayo, ang una yung pinapatawad at pinakakawalan ay ang inyong sarili. Great. Uh, Forgiveness benefits you more than the other person. The word forgive has three meanings, okay? To let alone, ibig sabihin, disregard mo na yung kasalanan na ginawa sa'yo. May ginawa ba sa'yo? Hiyaan mo na! Sabi mo sa katawin mo, hiyaan mo na! Ha? Pakawalan nyo na! To let go, ito po yung to let go, pakawalan mo na, hayaan mo na siya, alright? And number three, to leave. Just leave it, you know? Ang nagkasala ka ba? Okay, fine, no problem. Okay? And that is why we are asked to forgive and not to avenge. Avenge is to get equal. Sino po na na the Avengers? Kakaunti pa lang tayo. Okay? You know, as much as I like the movie Avengers, I am not into avenging. Ayan. Avenging is to get equal. To retaliate. Alright? Gaganti ko. Kung ano yung nawala sa akin, dapat makuha ko. And this is what the Avengers movie is all about. They are avenging. Ha? Pinaglalaban nila. But the Lord has told us, you know, we are not to avenge ourselves. Romans 12, 17. Sabi dito, repay no one evil for evil. Meron bang evil na ginawa sa'yo? You are not to repay them with evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you. Does it depend on you? Kung nagde-depend sa'yo yung sitwasyon, kasi minsan naman, borrowed offense lang, hindi mo namang away, nakikiaway ka. Ha? Na-chismis lang sa'yo na, uy, may sinabi sa'yo yung ano, alam mo ba, ginanto ako. Okay? Pati ikaw galit na doon, that's borrowed offense. Okay? As much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Alright? Romans 12, 19 says, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves. Do not get equal. Do not retaliate. Yung po ibig sabihin yan. Huwag kang gagante. But rather, give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Okay? Hayaan mo si Lord ang gumante. Magaling na gumante ang Panginoon. Your enemies will become your friends. Amen? Okay? So as much as we like the movie Avengers, we are not to avenge. Alright? Hayaan mo na si Hawk na lang a monster. Even Hawk, you know, pag panood niyo po yung movie, he knows he is a monster. Kasi he is vengeful. Mapaggante. Hindi po tayo mga monsters. Alright? So, let grace settle and put an end to all wars. You want every war in your family to end? You've tried everything. Let me tell you, give grace a chance in your family today. 
let grace put an end to all war. All right? In Luke 12, 2, 14, when Jesus was sent here, He was full of the grace of God. Ito po ang announcement ng mga anghel. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward man. Bakit po peace and goodwill? Because the grace of God is now given to man. All right? Last verse, Romans 5.1, Therefore, having been justified by faith, Right? We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, paano po tayo nagkaroon ng peace? Grace is the antidote to sin. So, sa kaguluhan po ng mundo, ang kasagutan po is Jesus Christ full of the grace of God. And that's why today, we have peace with God. Amen? We have the peace of God. There is no more war. God is not angry with you. He loves you with an everlasting love. Amen? Let grace settle all wars in our family, in our lives. Gusto niyong tumigil yan? Let grace settle all issue. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you have learned principles from the Word of God that will change your life forever. Our messages are available in DVD and audio formats. You may contact us at the following phone numbers. 046-471-3516 and 046-515-7459 If you want to sow to assist us in proclaiming the Gospel, you may deposit to Jesus Faith Christian Fellowship BPI Savings Account Number 1283-139235 Dueno Branch, Imus, Cavite Or you may visit us at our church 